first told you about on Monday, a Southern Indiana contractor questioning how he would make a living after $10,000 worth of tools were stolen from his work site. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. And I'm Doug Profit. Well, today that all changed. After seeing our story, two men stepped up and made all the difference in the world. Abby Lutz has this great new development from New Albany. A truck full of tools and hands back to work. Super thankful and grateful for it. It's been just three days since local contractor Sterling Hargrove showed up to this home he was working on to find all his tools stolen. The loss leaving him without a way to work. I honestly just expected the case to kind of go cold. But that's not what happened. I've been up since 530 this morning working. He's back to the grind today. Thanks to a few good Samaritans, one a recently retired contractor. He had a lot of doubles of everything and he just figured he could help me out. The saw, the extension cords, he gave me enough to fill up my tool belt and you know my tape measure and everything like that. The other, a perfect stranger. It was just not, not non-stop, you know, giving me a new, brand new tool belt, uh, gave me um, a new laser level to help uh, when I'm hanging drywall and everything. So. Um, you know, just a couple good guys trying to help make a difference, I guess. And that they did. Very big weight lift off my shoulders. You know, no one had to help me at all. They, everybody could have just kind of blew me off and that could have been that. Um, but instead, you know, people came together and um, really helped me get back on my feet. Back on his feet. Moving forward, he also gave me a backup saw in case that one breaks. But keeping in mind the kindness that got him here. At least let's Let's me know that there is still good in Kentuckyana. In New Albany, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.